Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Last week I uploaded a video on how I trim my natural hair when it's in a blow dry state. So this week I'll be showing you how I trim my hair on my straight hair for those who prefer to cut their hair on straight hair. I typically trim my hair every six months or so because these days I wear a lot of low manipulation hairstyles. But I'd recommend every three months or so if you do manipulate your hair a lot or you chemically treat it or dye it just to prevent any possible breakage from split ends or traveling split ends so if you do prefer to cut your hair on a blow dry state check out my other video the link for it will be in the description box below so yeah let's get straight into this video 12 o'clock midnight these ends are healthier than the ones in the back and you can tell the difference they're not as dry as these ones Look how dead that and stiff that is. That's how you know you need a trim. I can't see any split ends though, but I do feel the texture is different. So that's how I know it's gotta go. It's gotta be, gotta go, gotta get out of here. So I start by sectioning off the back from ear to ear and I'm putting the top section up so it doesn't get in my way. And I'm using the tension from my comb and my two fingers to grip the hair all the way down to where I wanna cut it and I cut straight across. So I won't be putting any sort of layering into the back hair, but I will be blending it in with the sections above it, just so that it can have a nice transition. So yeah, just a straight cut in the back. I cut mines a little bit diagonally, just so that I can have a curved shape in the back, but you can cut it straight across using this same technique. And then I repeat the same process for the other side. I don't do any point cutting in this routine, just because I don't feel it's necessary. So once that's done, I just quickly check it to see if they are the same length, just by pulling it down towards my chest. And then I part my hair in half and I'm putting one side away. I'm not sure why I didn't put that back section up, but it's supposed to be up so it's out of the way. And then I make another parting from the top of my head down towards my ear. And I put that front section up because I'm going to be working on that middle section first. So I comb the middle section and the back section together because I'm going to be using that back section as a guideline to where I want to cut. And then I cut this section straight across using that guideline from the back. I do the same thing like before, I comb it downwards using the comb and my two fingers to where I want to cut it and then I cut straight across. And then I check the section a few times as well just to see if I've cut it straight and I just cut whatever doesn't look right. And then I repeat the same process for the front section. At the very front of that section, I do have face framing layers in, so it's a bit shorter. So here I'm just cutting away the stray hairs. So once I've done the straight cut across those sections, I go ahead and cut the layers in my hair, starting in the back. So I didn't section it off clearly as I should have, but I'm working on that back section first, and I'm splitting that section into two sections, as you can see there. So in the previous video, I've done it at a 45 degree angle, and in this video, I will be cutting it at a 90 degree angle. This just gives my ends a less dense look. So if you have thick hair, this will be beneficial for you. So I pull the hair 90 degrees away from my body. And then I do the same thing using the tension with my fingers and the comb. And I am cutting straight across. As you can see, the guideline is there at the bottom. And I just want to basically even all of that hair out. So cut it in one straight line. So not cutting all the way to the end of that guideline. So you kind of just skip that guideline and just cut upwards from there. And then I repeat that process for each section of my hair. So I'm doing that first section in the back and then I'll do the second section in the back. And then I'll work my way to the front sections doing exactly the same thing. And I'm pulling directly out from that section. So I'm not pulling it forwards. I'm not pulling it backwards, I'm pulling it straight out from my head. At the front here, there's not really much hair to play with, so I just left that part out. And then I'm taking that whole front section, checking it through, just to see if anything else needs cutting. Same with the back, taking that whole section together, taking it straight out from my head. 
and just cutting off anything that looks out of place. And then I repeat the same process on the other side of my hair. And also my previous video on how I trim my hair is a bit more detailed and it's not sped up. So if you prefer that kind of video, you can go ahead and check out my other video instead. And also if you do want to see my curly to straight routine or my blow drying routine, I will also leave those links in the description box below. So when you are trim the sections to meet the guideline, you can see here that the guideline is shorter than the section that you're cutting. And what you want to do is you want to cut up to where the guideline is. You don't want to cut in to the guideline because that's when you're going to get the unevenness and the choppy looking layers that can occur. And sometimes when you cut that layer to meet up with the guideline, you might see some choppy areas. And that's why I double check my layers after I've done them, just so that I can round out those edges. So as you can see here, you can see the middle part there where the guideline meets the layers. And I just round that out basically, and that gives it a smoother transition. So in that front section there, as you can see, um, there's not much to cut off. This is because the front of my hair isn't as dense as the back and I did cut face framing layers in the previous video. So don't work too much on the sides. Just literally cut what looks out of place and leave it as that. But of course, if you do have thick hair in the front, go ahead and follow the steps as normal. So that's all the layers done. What I'm doing here is I'm just checking that straight cut just to see if everything's still straight and I'm just cutting off any uneven hair or any straggly hair that might have got left behind. And for the front part of my hair, I'm literally just rounding off those edges because as I said before, I did cut face framing layers in the previous haircut. So once I'm finished trimming my hair, I like to add a little bit of this oil sheen. I just spray it into my ends and rake it through my hair. Happy ends, happy ends, happy endings. <laughs> so here I'm just checking to see if everything's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and this is what the hair is looking like so far. Nice and fresh, no snagging. The ends look flowy, they don't look choppy at all. And here, again, I'm just rounding off those face framing layers. Just cutting off anything that doesn't look right and I'm just rounding it off. The ends are nice and lively now and it, they look so happy which makes me happy and I am good for the next <laughs> six months, I mean three months. So <laughs> I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Sorry but look how bone straight my hair is guys. This new straightening routine is the one, literally. 3.28 a.m. It's three o'clock in the morning. Okay, I need to go to bed. I think I still could have just a tad bit more, but I'm not. I'm not gonna dare cut off anymore. I'm already scissor happy. I'm surprised I didn't cut bangs. That's how scissor happy I am. But anyways, um, so this is the next day. I went ahead and done a saran silk wrap just to see if it would give my hair a more silkier result. So if you want to see if that did make my hair come out a bit more silkier, subscribe to my channel. The video for that will be up next week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you'll be trying out this routine in your next wash day. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.